This is Indomitian Rising. Before dominating the sport of football, Indomitian began his early days as an athlete on the soccer pitch. When my son came up, he was three, I started teaching him. I wanted him to play soccer. You know, that was my first sport because that's all I knew. And he was picking it up, he loved it. Um, he was a fast learner. I always played soccer. I'd go, to my, go anywhere and everything. I always have a soccer ball with me, enjoying messing around, playing with soccer, playing with my dad, kicking the ball to and from. And then obviously when my sister, she started playing um, in I think the sixth grade, I would always be at her games kicking around going on the field at halftime, shooting goals and trying to do banana kicks and so forth, so. He would practice his banana kick, that was like his, his favorite thing, was the banana kick, and sure enough, he practiced that one morning and then would go to his game maybe two, three hours later, and sure enough, he's scoring off of banana kicks. Size-wise, he would be, height-wise, two of the other kids that he would play with, I think they were maybe like 10, and one of the kids fell over and, you know, was like crying and, you know, was finally getting over it. And my brother goes and, you know, instead of like patting him on the back, he picks him up by his shorts and he looks at him and he goes, are you okay? And then sets him down. And I was like, that just shows the difference in size. Obviously my hip check's gonna be a little bit more than uh, somebody who's 180 pounds and 5'6", and I'm almost six foot and 250 pounds, so. I mean, it, 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 I got a little annoyed with the unnecessary calls in my view. Because sometimes he come out crying, I didn't do anything, I didn't do anything. I said, I know, uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> Eventually too big and too strong for the game of soccer, and Dominican fell in love with a sport that was unfamiliar and frightening to his family. His first game I was like really tense, you know, because uh, people are coming into him, you know, he's going. But he came home and he assured me, he says, Dad, you know what? I said, what? He says, this is the game that I want because I can hit people and don't get blamed for. When he started playing in high school, I went to the library, got some books, um, and watched as many games as I could, professional games. And that's how I basically learned um, what all the calls are. and. Um, to me, um, early on, seeing it before you got involved in it was uh, very physical, and, and it still is very physical. But I, I you know, and I, I worry about him every day that he steps on the field. But um, I've grown to become a little bit more comfortable watching him play and watching the sport. By the end of his high school career, Indomitian had a few years of football under his belt and had developed into a force on the field. As a player, Indomitian, I mean, he was a dominating force offensively, defensively, um, a great team player. Again, a, a, a young man that had a number of friends and uh, his teammates surrounded him, fo followed him, um, relied on his leadership. I went both ways my junior year, made all, all city uh, an honorable mention in state um, and really kind of took off from there. He was involved in multiple sports. He was a starter on the varsity basketball team. Uh, he was also the state champion in the shot put as a senior. Um, great athleticism. We have a crosstown rival. It was actually an offensive play for us, and to see him make, I think it was up to three or four blocks on one play, and really um, putting guys on their back. Uh, it was just, I mean, it was amazing to watch. It wasn't, um, you know, my assignment or my job is to to block this one particular guy, but after he took care of this guy, he looked for someone else to block. And um, just his effort on that play was just amazing. As Indomitian's road continues. I compete against myself, so that's the person I'm competing. I'm not competing against anybody else but myself. 